And here we have 4xy squared, all of that cubed, divided by 8x squared y cubed. And I'll do this in two steps. The rules of exponents say that I have to do exponents before I do multiplication and division. So I need to think about this thing cubed before I think of all of that being divided by the denominator. So the first thing I'll do is take this cube and apply it to this, which means the 4 gets cubed, the x gets cubed, and the y squared gets cubed. So up top, this gives me a 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again is 64. So I have 64 right there. That's my 4 cubed. Now I take this x, and it also gets cubed. So I have an x cubed. And then the y squared gets cubed. So I have an exponent being raised to another exponent, which, which means the exponents get multiplied. So that becomes a y to the power of 6. And I still have this denominator, 8x squared y to the power of 3. And now I can simplify it one step further. The 64 divided by the 8 is just the same as an 8. The x cubed divided by x squared those are both x's, so I look at the 3 and the 2. The 3 is on top, the 2 is on the bottom. So I think 3 minus 2, which is 1. So this is x to the power of 1. And you don't need to write the little 1 as the exponent. You can just leave it as 8x. They're the same thing. And then over here with my y's, I have to subtract again. y to the 6 divided by y to the power of 3. I do 6 minus 3, and that gives me 3. So y to the power of 3. So 8xy cubed is my answer.